Hi, I'm Heather Leck, the Product Manager for Autodesk Format Pro. In this presentation, I'm going to discuss the roadmap and areas of investment. I'll also highlight some of the work that's been recently released in Format 2022.0, but first I'll review Format's key values and provide a short timeline of the history of Format. Then I'll go into more depth into the future areas of investment and the roadmap. Before I start, I want to remind you of Autodesk's Safe Harbor Statement. I'll be showing you what's on our roadmap, but that's not a promise or guarantee of future availability of product services or features. It reflects our current plans, but future development efforts can change without notice. Purchasing decisions should not be made based on these statements. And the statements I make today in April of 2021 may become out of date and may no longer contain current or accurate information. Format Pro offers enhanced early stage design inside the Autodesk ecosystem. It's Autodesk's AEC 3D modeling and analysis environment for conceptual design and early computational design workflows. There are five key values that Format offers. One, in Format's fluid 3D sketching environment, you start simple and add details only as needed. Two, it's a unique combination of dynamo computation and direct manipulation. Design technologists can create dynamo graphs while architectural designers use intuitive tools and can manipulate dynamo-driven geometry without leaving Format's friendly interface. Three, leverage location data for environmental and sustainable analysis. Access weather data, sun and shadow studies, solar radiation, and insight energy analysis for early feedback to inform your designs. Four, Directly connect to Revit with less rework. Unlike any other conceptual modeling tool, Format's levels and materials transfer to Revit with no rework. Transfer your model to Revit for real-time realistic visual presentations and for detailed design and documentation. Five, you can take advantage of the Autodesk ecosystem by sharing models on the Autodesk cloud. The Format iPad sketch can be accessed by colleagues back in the office for more detailed modeling and analysis, even before you make it back to the office yourself. Format was originally launched as an iPad app for architects who wanted to sketch designs and create conceptual models on the go. From the very beginning, Format included location data and a connection to insight energy analysis in order to expose as much feedback and data to the architect earlier on in the design process. Just by entering a location or an address, Format is reading weather data, sun and shadow data, and can create an accurate insight energy model to keep the architect informed. By entering site area data and assigning levels, the architect can track floor area ratio and floor area goals. A few years after its initial iPad launch, Format then launched a web browser app, and only later did the Format Pro Windows desktop version launch in 2016. Along the way, Format has continued to improve its connection with other Autodesk products, most notably Revit, Dynamo, and the Autodesk Cloud. In 2017, Format Pro folded into the AEC collection while continuing to offer free iPad and web apps. Along with the move to the AEC collection, Format introduced advanced modeling tools, plugin capabilities with access to an API, and multi-user collaboration. With the most recent release, Format is building stronger connections to Revit for a seamless iterative design workflow. Format is also building a stronger connection to Dynamo for compute integration and advanced analysis capabilities for more informed early stage design. Format's goal is to be the go-to early stage design tool for architects and designers. We have three key initiatives or themes this year, which include one, Enhance the value of the Autodesk ecosystem and the AEC collection by enhancing the connection to Revit for a seamless workflow. Two, we'll continue to develop compute integration for outcome-based predictive design using Dynamo and Format plugins. Readily available and accurate analysis feedback early in the design process means better, more efficient design outcomes later on. And three, We'll promote data at the center and ensure a shared and trusted experience on the Autodesk Cloud. Additionally, we continue to support the core interests of Format 
through performance and scalability enhancements and by addressing customer wish list items. I'll drill down into each of these initiatives in the coming slides. First, let's talk about the Formant Revit integration for better interoperability. As part of the Autodesk ecosystem, we recognize the importance of a seamless exchange of data between products. This saves time, money, and means more design exploration faster, leading to better outcomes. We're working to create a seamless experience between Formant and Revit to prevent rework when moving from conceptual design to detailed design in Revit, because design is iterative, not linear, and the tools we use should reflect this. We recently released improvements in this area in the 2022 release. There's now an access point in Revit that will launch Formit as an alternative 3D sketching environment. The goal is to exchange models or parts of a model between Formit and Revit with one click. The first step, which was just released, was to accomplish this workflow across one user session, so one user can seamlessly move back and forth between Formit and Revit. The next step will be to support this for a multi-user workflow where data can be shared across workstations and locations, leveraging the Autodesk Cloud. Along with this will come the ability to reload and update designs that have been edited in Formit and are already connected to Revit. Additionally, we plan to support category transfer and parameter transfer from Formit to Revit, so data from Formit can be reused in Revit. And finally, we plan to enhance element mapping between Formit and Revit, so that, for example, a vertical surface in Formit's conceptual model automatically maps to a Revit wall system family. This may initially take the form of an enhanced by face tool that maps many elements at once and tracks changes. And eventually we'll explore how we can get smarter at element mapping with AI and machine learning. As I mentioned, new in Formit 2022 is the ability to launch Formit directly from Revit with a 3D sketch tool on Revit's massing and site tab. Use Formit for all of your conceptual design modeling needs then click the Send to Revit button to bring the new design into Revit as an import instance. Alternatively, you can now import a format.axm file into Revit using the standard Import CAD workflow from Revit's Insert tab. Use this workflow to share models with colleagues or use the Import workflow to bring format geometry into a Revit massing family for access to biface tools and mass floors. Here is an example of the workflow we just released. This video shows the one-click workflow of moving seamlessly between Revit and Formit on one user session. To start, access Formit directly from Revit with the 3D Sketch button on the Massing tab of Revit. Then, once you've modeled a design in Formit, assigning levels, adding materials, click the Send to Revit button to push the new design back to Revit. One example in this video is of an urban context that's already modeled in Revit and the architect wants to explore a new building on an empty lot. Along with format geometry, format materials, including texture maps, and any material scaling will transfer to Revit and is accessible from Revit's materials dialog box. They can be applied to Revit elements and will render in realistic visual style. Additionally, format levels transfer and become Revit levels. You can also explore a specific piece of a design, like signage on the top of a building. When the design idea is ready to share, select it and click Send to Revit, and only the selected elements will transfer to form it. A third workflow shows taking a small section of an existing building and exploring an interior modification to the reception area. First, the architect uses a section box in Revit to define the portion of the model that's relevant for the new design. Then he clicks the 3D sketch button to bring the model into format. If a designer wants to first explore in a more conceptual, fluid environment, then format's the right tool for them. Revit remains the go-to product for detailed design and documentation, while Formit becomes the conceptual modeling environment. This new workflow shows how we envision customers iterating on their designs with a seamless workflow between Formit and Revit, 
and we'll continue to build on this to provide a persistent linking workflow in a future release. Next, let's dig deeper into the theme of outcome-based design with Dynamo and plugins. The Dynamo integration with Formit has come a long way in the last year. We've introduced a selection node, a live connection, faster reruns of graphs, and the ability to place multiple big nodes in one graph. All of this enhances the use of computation to drive early stage design. We continue to focus on this initiative with an emphasis on analysis and informed design. We plan to move towards a concept of what we're calling always on analysis. Architects and engineers should be able to understand the implications of design decisions when they make them so that they can always be working towards their desired outcomes. We plan to provide persistent, out-of-the-box analysis feedback at the speed of design that solves common problems and is also customizable to project-specific challenges. We'll start by creating visual dashboards to easily track how edits to the model affect goals like target area, floor area ratio, and zoning requirements. With these tools, designers and architects will be able to define goals upfront, compare alternative designs, and track impacts to find the best solution in less time. Additionally, we plan to integrate generative design and format so that designers can prioritize variables, explore outcomes, and track building performance early on in the design process. This will be a similar integration to generative design in Revit, which came out last year. I mentioned the new watch node capabilities in Format 2022.0. To use it in your Dynamo graphs, simply right click on a node and choose Is Output, and the reporting data will display in Format's properties panel for the Dynamo generated geometry. Here is an example of a workflow using the new watch node capabilities in Format 2022.0. This example shows a dynamo graph that's calculating percent glazing of a face. The designer can set the target percent glazing, understand the current percent glazing, and know if the current design is in compliance or not. In dynamo, make sure the output nodes are set to is output and they will display in Format's properties panel. Change the window sizes on the face and rerun the graph to evaluate the current percent glazing and whether the target percentage has been met. Also new in 2022 are several new Dynamo nodes for Format. There's now a Set as Mesh node, a Set Layer node, and a Set Attribute node. They all work on Format groups. We also renamed the Bake to Format node to Send to Format to be more consistent with Dynamo terminology for other Autodesk products. In this video, I've created some masses that represent various spaces that are to be laid out in an interior space. They represent offices, conference rooms, and cubicles. Each object is placed in a group, and the group is given a layer and additional attributes for usage and company division. Open the new embedded graph in Dynamo and you'll see the new group nodes for format, set as mesh, set layer, and set attribute. In this example, I changed the layer from existing program to new program and changed the division to say manufacturing. Then I save the graph and update it in format. The third theme is to continue to support the Autodesk Cloud. We want to ensure a single source of truth, starting with early stage design work and including all project data so that teams work efficiently, consistently, and securely. Recent work in this area has been the ability to host Formit's content library or your own content for Formit on the Autodesk Cloud. We ensure permissions keep your data secure and accessible. We've also made Formit layers accessible in the Autodesk Viewer and made it easier to search for projects on your Autodesk Cloud Hub. Our next steps are to share and access more Formit data on the Autodesk Cloud and to support the seamless exchange of data between Formit and BIM Collaborate Pro or Revit Cloud Work Sharing. New in Formit 2022 is the ability to control Formit layers in the Autodesk Docs Viewer. You can use this to share design options with your client or consultant and to discuss designs. 
To use the new feature, simply save your model to Autodesk Docs instead of locally. Then navigate to the Autodesk Docs project, click on the thumbnail, and the viewer will open. The layers that were visible when the model was saved will display in the Layers tree. Turn them on or off by clicking on the eye icon. The layers that are off will show as ghosted in the viewer. We continue to prioritize performance and scalability. In the past release that went out in October of 2020, we significantly improved model performance for navigation, selection, and editing, making some of those actions up to 20 and even 30 times faster. In Format 2022.0, we significantly sped up the time it takes to import a Format model into Revit, while also improving quality and reliability. We also improved the performance of rerunning Dynamo graphs from within Format. Next, we plan to scale Format to more geographic locations by localizing it in all languages that the AEC collections are localized in. So for example, if you access Format from the 3D Sketch button in Japanese Rabbit, Format will also launch in Japanese. Along with localization of the product, we will also localize the documentation and tutorials. And finally, we know that there are more modeling tools and features that we can provide our customers to improve their experience, and we're always watching the Format Forum and the Format Ideas page for popular wish list items. In 2022.0, we addressed the wish to allow layer locking. Four of the top 20 wish list items on the Format Ideas Forum are fully implemented, and an additional six of those top 20 are currently being worked on. Our next steps are to ensure our graphics API is robust and available for third-party plugins. We hear often about the need for better visualization and presentation in Format, and we, we want to improve that experience. We also plan to allow export of video files, and we'll continue to monitor the Format Ideas page and Format Forum for popular enhancements. I mentioned layer locking is new in 2022 you'll see a new column on the Layers palette to allow locking, so the designer ensures geometry isn't accidentally moved or deleted. Here's an example of the new layer locking behavior. In this case, I have a new massing design along with context buildings. I want to select just the new massing, but if I use a box select, I get extra geometry that I didn't want to select. So I can use layer locking to lock the existing buildings and entourage layers. Then when I box select, I only get the new massing. If I hover over an object on a locked layer, I get a band cursor and a tooltip explaining that the object is on a locked layer. And that concludes the tour of what's new in Format 2022 and what's coming up on the roadmap. Our goal on the Format team is to transform Format into the go-to modeler for early stage design and computation so our customers can explore and communicate designs while making informed decisions using our analysis tools. Thanks for tuning in and feel free to reach out to myself or the Format team with any questions or comments. We're always watching the Format Forum and Format Ideas page for your feedback and questions. Thank you.